What's going on my VVT loving friends? My name is Greg Peters. You are tuned into the Car Passion channel and today I'll be going over my custom water line setup that's going to quench the thirst of my Borg Warner EFR Turbo. If you're new here, you are tuning in during a very special time on the Car Passion channel. We got a double upload August, which means two videos every week. And for you OGs, why don't you throw a like on this video, let me know how much you are enjoying the content. Let's jump into this. Both my water feed and return are going to be custom AN lines. And if you want to learn how to build your own, I invite you to check out this video right here up in the corner. The first thing I'm going to cover right now is the water feed. So any water coming out of the head can be used as a turbo feed because the head is expelling water. So that includes if you're doing a reroute, a lot of the housings on the market come with a threaded port for a turbo feed or you can also feed it off of the front somehow. Factory, there's a little rubber line right here that, that runs below your thermostat housing, so you can tee into that and run your turbo feed. I'm only running on the front a little AN fitting, and I'm gonna go back in time to show you how that got there. So I'm going back in time a little bit to before I put all the front covers on the engine. See, with my little custom block plate with the AN6 fitting on it, I have to put my uh, 45 degree fitting onto that before I put the front covers on otherwise I'll have no way to tighten it so I got to do that right now and this is gonna be my water feed for the turbo now let's talk about the turbo itself now it does not matter which way you feed water through the CHRA and on most turbos you're only gonna have one port on each side but if you happen to have a Borg Warner EFR you'll have two ports. You're only gonna use one of them, and the way you do it is the feed is always gonna go into the bottom port, and the return is gonna come from the top port. I am using this side of the turbo as the return, which I'll get to in a minute, and the inside, it's gonna be really hard to see, but the top port is already plugged, and then the bottom port is the one I'll use for the feed line. Now there's information online for pretty much all turbos that tells you the thread size of the CHRA ports. If you've got a Borg Warner like mine, you're looking at M14 by 1.5. So I hopped online and bought some M14 by 1.5 on one side and AN6 on the other, as well as a copper washer to go on there and seal it up nice. So I'll put one of those on each side of the turbo. So we've got our water feed done and that's the easy one. Next I'm gonna get into the return, but first I wanna ask you guys a question. Do any of you out there know why a turbo would take water lines? I'm sure a lot of you are saying, well, that's easy, it's to cool the turbo down, the CHRA specifically, you know, the bearings. But that's not the true reason why some turbos have water lines. And I say some because there are turbos that are oil only, so why don't they need water? The main reason for having water lines on your turbo is actually after you shut the car off, it helps the heat in the CHRA dissipate through the water in the lines. The water's not even flowing anymore, but it's still serving a very important purpose. And what that does is it helps the oil not, it's called coking. It helps the oil basically not bake inside the bearings. It helps some of that heat dissipate through the water instead, pretty much alleviating the need for those old school things called turbo timers. Now, Borg Warner even says right in their instructions, water cooling is recommended, but not even necessary on this turbo. And I get that question a lot, should I water cool my turbo? And I always say, it's so simple to run a couple lines, it's gonna help the lifespan of the turbo. Definitely water cool your turbo if you have the opportunity. Now I'll go ahead and install the coolant mixer housing, which just bolts right to the water. Hmm. Oh crap. Aiden. Don't you have one of those uh, aluminum welding devices? Oh, same problem on your build, huh? You think you can fab something up? I can just ship you my old one and you can hack it. Mm, I don't know, I could 
freeze you a couple carne asada burritos and overnight them. All right, perfect. I'll look for it in the mail, thanks. Ta-da! So what we've got here is an OEM a Mazda Miata cool and mix housing, but it's got a few modifications. So first I had a section taken out right here and it was re-welded, so it's quite a bit shorter. Second, the heater core hardline port completely welded up, will no longer be used. And I've also got an AN6 fitting welded onto the front. Well, actually it's the back now because I'm gonna be running this housing backwards. So normally your mix housing goes on this way, but now I'm gonna have it flipped over like this and it fits. So my lower radiator hose will hook up right here. My turbo return line will hook up right here. Now, just like the head can be used for any water feed, Anything connected to the water pump can be used as a water return because the water pump draws a vacuum on everything connected to it. So that includes the lower radiator hose because it sucks in the water from the radiator and the heater core hard line, it's pulling water from the heater core. So that's gonna be my turbo return. Alright guys, well that is the overview of my custom water line setup on the VVT engine. I think I'm making some pretty good progress here. I foresee the engine being ready to drop into the car probably at the end of August. And at that point, I'm going to have another set of hurdles to get over. I mean, I got a new intercooler setup, an 01 engine going into a 1992 chassis, it's a new ECU setup, a new gauge setup, there's going to be a lot of wiring to figure out, in fact just a lot of things to figure out because a lot of this stuff is new to me and I'm learning along the way too just like you guys are so I hope you guys are having fun, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Back from the dead. If you're new here, you're turning. If you're new here, you're. Tr if you're new here, you. Oh my God! What the? If you're new here, you're turning in your your. If you're new here, you are tu turning. Oh, what? If you're new here, you are tuning in during. Do. Oh, I really. I legit can't say it. You are turning in do do ring do 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 rag.